Hello and welcome to a stormy 2023. As I mentioned in my newsletter, this will be a year like a tornado or hurricane. It can be quite dynamic and very stormy. For that reason, we have to see that we stay focused and centered and not let the world get to us. Also, 2023 is a jumping year for the next level. That means the universe has not bad intention, but wants to shift us to the next level. So how can we make it that we do not get too frazzled in this year? Well, you can see my personal motto overhead, free to be me in 2023. I'm going to pay attention what puts me in a box. I'm going to pay attention to what limits me. What do I create also in belief structures, which might be found in the sentence, always this happens to me, never ever can I have always and never ever lead us to our subconscious beliefs and maybe that would be a good starting point to check those out and then I always change them into from now on allow myself this from now on allow myself the other to go to the next level but also 2023 is a year where we have to dismantle our own perceptions when it got to reach it because what hinders us to go to the next level it's not necessarily all the other people or the constructs in the world or an adversary oftentimes we can find these hindrances within ourselves and with our own thought patterns patterns are mentioned already with the two words always and never ever easy to be found but also belief structures of um, blame shame game or maybe hidden loyalties check on what you're loyal to and check on what inspires you and what you want to inspire in others it's a very inspirational shift year because 2024 will build on this year. That means whatever you want to inspire next year to or 2023, you will definitely do so in 24. So check on your bigger pictures not just the small steps in front of you, bigger picture view, which will be put in effect in 2024. But right now it's your emotional shift. We started that in 2020 with this full moon cycle of non-supportive beliefs and uh, check marks of undigested emotions. Now we are moving out of those. A lot of us have seen in 2022 this mastership approach of that the universe had put artificial difficulties on the path to overcome and master. Now we're moving out of it. And that's why we have this dismantling forces to get rid of all this old stuff, which is no longer suitable for us, our thinking and our feeling and our emotions. Also, 2023 will be stormy like sun and lightning in regards to the universe's light shockwaves. That means if the universe sends us a light beam, like a thunder and a lightning, there is the approach that we can evasive. Yeah, can be evasive to it, or there can be the approach that we wall it and it bounces off, but it hurts us because of the impact, or we can be translucent and it goes right through us. So we can synthesize these energy shock waves. I think that would be my best approach to just absorb it and let it transform me so that I can go to the next level. Well, I hope it gave you some uh, ideas 
how to handle 2023. And again, my motto is free to be me. So let's look forward to what 2003 brings in freedom. Till next time.